What is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be doing the first ride and review of the Velotric Nomad 1 electric bike. Before we get started on this video, if you guys do wanna support the channel, check out that link down below for the Velotric Nomad 1. Use code SHREDDY60, get $60 off your order. If Velotric isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So guys, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a speed test with modes one through five, and also we're gonna be taking this thing on some awesome fun terrains. We'll take the drone out, have it follow us so you guys can see how this thing performs in third person view. The Velotric Nomad 1 electric bike retails for $13.99, but if you use code SHREDDY60, you get $60 off that order. The Velotric Nomad 1 is equipped with a 48 volt, 14.4 amp hour battery. And I really love how the battery is integrated right into the frame, so you really can't tell this is an e bike. It's very stealthy. With the 3 amp charger, they claim a charging time of about 6 hours to top off. The cells in this lithium ion battery are a Tesla grade 21700 made by LG Samsung. It's got a 750 watt class 2 motor with throttle assist, it has 5 levels of pedal assist and walk mode. We also have front and rear hydraulic disc brakes for great stopping power. They also claim a max range of about 55 miles, but we're gonna put that to the test for sure. And they claim a top speed of 20 miles an hour, but we're gonna see if we can push it a little bit past that. The Nomad 1 can accommodate riders between five foot one and six foot nine. That's because of this awesome step-through design that can accommodate riders that are a little bit shorter or a little less abled. We have this awesome eight-speed Shimano Altus derailleur. Velotric also has a one-year warranty on their bikes. And here are the controls to get through your gears. I really love how these controls, you can push actually through like three gears in one push. Here are your brake levers, super easy to grab, and it does have great stopping power and it feels like they tuned these up really good. The frame of the Nomad 1 is made out of aluminum alloy. They also do a great job of cable management, running it through the frame. It looks very clean, guys. The Nomad 1 also has a thumb throttle on the left side. It's equipped with a 3.5 inch backlit LCD display with speed, trip, battery, and assist levels. We also have this high output LED headlight on the front. It's also equipped with 180 millimeter rotors front and rear. Right here we got some nice big beefy beach sand type tires where you can take off road. It's a CST BFT 26 by 4 inch tires. The tires also have a puncture resistant liner. And the handlebars here are also equipped with this really comfortable ergonomic grip, very sticky. It holds onto your hands. The weight of the Nomad step through is 72 pounds and the high step weighs 73 pounds. You can also get a front rack available for purchase that can handle up to 33 pounds. You can also get a rear rack that can handle up to 55 pounds. The Nomad 1's max weight load is 440 pounds. All right, guys, now that the overview is done, let's get to the speed test. All right, guys, let's get ready for our all throttle speed tests and just so you guys know each level of pedal assist one through five coincides with the speed of the throttle let's start off on pedal assist five since we're at a full charge right now at 48 volts and let's just go full throttle see how fast we can go and we'll also dampen out the front forks so we don't bounce around as much and i'll try to pedal to see how fast we can go in gear eight level five Looks like our top speed hit is 19.7. Let's see how I can push it with it not locked out. 20.3, let's lock out that suspension. Yep, totally locked out. Ah, <laughs> ah 20.9 is the highest I could push it, guys. Not bad, so when you dampen out the front fork, it definitely gives you a little bit more speed. The throttle is very, very responsive. Very responsive. When you are in pedal assist five, it does kind of take off once it gets started. It takes about a little more than a quarter turn on the pedal to get it to kick in. So what I would suggest is don't start off in pedal assist five. Maybe go to pedal assist one, use the throttle and start pedaling. And if you want to go faster, that's when you kind of switch through the gears like that. All right, guys, we're in pedal assist four. Let's start it. Let's start it. Good torque. Good torque. 14 miles an hour. 15. And there it is. Top speed for pedal assist four was 16.4 miles an hour. All right, let's go down to pedal assist three. Start trip. Full throttle. Oh, 
It's crazy how the uh, torque ramps up. It starts off kind of slow and then it kicks up. 14.8, not bad, not bad. The brakes work really well on this bike. They feel really solid. They did a great job of tuning these up. All right, so 14.8 on mode three. Let's go to mode two. It's probably gonna be like 10. 11.7, we're gonna end it there. Mode two, 11.7 miles an hour, top speed. All right, guys, mode one. Oh, this is the funnest one to test, right? <laughs> 9.5. We're gonna hit 9.5, 9.4, 9.5. There it is. Can we hit 9.6? 9.7, there it is. 9.8, 10 miles an hour. All right, guys, that's the last test of the pedal assist. Mode one was 10.1 miles an hour. All right, let's do a little bit of a terrain test in this stuff with these big old beachy knobby tires. So yeah, suspension is totally unlocked now. Let's see how this thing grips. <laughs> Heck yeah. Darn, these big tires definitely crush over this terrain having a 26 inch tires. <laughs> let's go. Where is, that looks like a little jump right there. <laughs> Darn, it's definitely pulling me up this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a little jump right here. <laughs> this thing's a blast. It's like a mountain bike. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this bike so far. This is a lot of fun back here. The way I got the handlebars, this is definitely a pretty comfortable seating position. Just so you guys know, you should definitely bed your brakes on all brand new electric bikes. Just look up brake bedding on e-bikes. It's pretty easy. You just got to heat up your rotors, then let them cool down. So far, I'm definitely impressed at the little beating I'm putting on this e-bike. It's definitely handling it. I want to get the drone out and have it follow me to show you guys what it looks like riding around here. It's pretty dope. All right, another launch with the Skydio 2. Guys, if you're interested in the Skydio 2 drone, make sure you check out that link down below. Use code SHREDDY, save $50 off your order. We are cruising on this thing today. All right, let's see how this drone follows me. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, this stuff is deep. Oh God. <laughs> Don't the torque this thing has to pull through this stuff is crazy. <laughs> All right, let's go up this little, uh, this bank right here. Just want to see if we can get up it. <laughs> yeah, yes. There you go. <laughs> Can we jump it? <laughs> All right, here's another test. Can I make it up this thing? I'm gonna pedal it. <laughs> that was hard, that was hard. That's straight sand. This is pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna test the hill climbing around on this side. Man, this thing's a blast to ride back here, guys. <laughs> I did not bed my brakes, by the way. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a little hill test right here from the bottom. Pedal assist five, all throttle. Yeah, not bad, not bad. All right, here goes. Testing this hill that everybody loves. <laughs> Oh, I got to pet a little bit. Still barely trying now. <laughs> Heck yeah. Just seeing how it handles on the side of the hill like this. <laughs> Not bad with the suspension. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Velotrick. This electric bike is awesome. The Velotrick Nomad 1 step through can definitely, definitely handle.
right, let's just go full throttle up it. Oh yeah! <laughs> Pedal assist five, gear three. <laughs> That's awesome. If I practice enough, I can wheelie this thing. Heck yeah. And guys, I'm not sure if there's a way to get into the display and actually unlock more speed, maybe up to 28 miles an hour on this bike, but I'll definitely do some research and see what we could do, guys. Terrain tests. Whee! Guys, check this out. That's a turkey vulture. Gotta do all terrains. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't had my chain pop off at all in any of these tests. If you guys do ever have a chain pop off on an e-bike, make sure you always power your bike off before you put it on. So the seat on this bike is definitely comfortable, but it doesn't fit my big old biscuits. I'm going to swap out to more of a beach style seat. It's not a shreddy review unless we're at the beach. So this bike does have 76 newton meters of torque when you're hitting it at full throttle. Let's go up this little bank. Dude, what? Okay, <laughs> I'm really, really impressed at this bike, guys. I can't believe it has the torque to pull me through this. I'm guessing it's the bigger tires, like the bigger diameter might be what's pulling me through this, like nothing. I'm just gonna see if uh, the controller can handle this. I love having a thumb throttle on the left side, but yeah, look at this awesome view, guys. This is so much fun. I'm getting a little bit of sag right now. I'm just going hard in this deep stuff. <laughs> Wow, guys, if you have an e-bike and you live on the coast and you haven't ridden on the beach, you have an e-bike yet. So the Nomad 1 is definitely a beach bike. All right, let's do it a little, little ghost pedaling with the waves. Look at that. <laughs> this is actually a lot of fun putting it in gear one, pedal assist five, and just actually pedaling through this stuff. So this bike does have a walk mode. If you hold the minus button or down, just walks for you. Darn guys, this thing handled the beach way better than expected. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think about that. All right guys, as you see, we did a total of 17 miles on this whole trip. We're down two bars left, that's it. I wish it told you the voltage on the display. I, I always go off of voltage. Man, what a fun review that was today. I couldn't believe how much this bike could handle. We're not done just yet, guys, but if you guys did enjoy that review, definitely don't forget to drop a like. We still got one more thing to do. We got to hit the jump. All right, guys, you know, before you jump this bike or any brand new e-bike that you get, guys, always, always check your nuts. We're hitting this at full speed, 20 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about the Velotrick Nomad 1 electric bike. It's pretty awesome having to step through like that. Easy to get on and off. Like, check this out. Just right through and you're already on. That's it. You're ready to roll that quick. <laughs> Definitely a blast to ride, though. I had a really good time on this bike, especially testing the bike out in that construction site with a drone. That was a heck of a blast. Guys, let me know what you think about this bike down in the comments. What did you think about how it performed? They also have a high step version of this bike that can accommodate an even taller rider up to six foot six. Stay tuned guys for the next video where I'm gonna be reviewing the Discover One by Velotrick. And also we're gonna be taking this bad boy out on a full throttle range test to see how many miles we can get on this 14 amp hour battery. I'm guessing about 25 miles at full throttle going 20 miles an hour. Guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think I'm gonna get on that range test. If you guys do wanna support this channel, please check out that link down below for the Velotrick Nomad One electric bike. Use code SHREDDY60, get $60 off your order. If Velotrick isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So if you guys enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next Velotrick ride.